Martin with Martin Rebuilds back here with another tip for how to use Google Maps with EV integration. So if you want to be able to use Google Maps with EV integration, there's a couple things you're going to have to do. First of all, you need to make sure you get the over-the-air update from Ford, which is not something you can go push manually. It's something that'll come in time. The secondary option is to use FDRS, the Ford Diagnostic and Repair System, along with an expensive cable, and update it yourself, which is what we've chosen to do. Here, secondly, you're going to need to go into your Google Maps in, in your Android, update the vehicle settings to, to identify that it's an electric vehicle and that way all the correct settings will come up in Google Maps Android Auto. So you wanna click on Maps. Let's move the screen recorder out of the way. Click on this circle with your logo in it or your name. Go down to Settings. Then we're gonna come all the way down here to Navigation Settings. And then we're gonna come down to Your Vehicles. And then make sure where you have the word electric clicked on this engine type. And then you can go into the plugs and adapters and check the types that will work for your car for the Mustang Mach-E and the Ford Lightning. If you have your NAX adapter, you'll want to have CCS1 and or NAX non-Tesla selected. So we're going to back out of that and then we'll go to the, the navigation on the truck and look at what it looks like there. Okay, so once you get your vehicle set up in the Google Map settings, open your maps in Android Auto on your Mach-E or your Lightning and then click just a quick destination. We're just gonna click Oklahoma City just as a single stop. Now it's suggesting that we charge at the Tulsa Francis Energy Charging Station. Um, if those, if that is a charger that works for you and you know it's, it's uh, reliable, you can go ahead and just hit start. That's gonna rear out you and it's gonna, if you zoom out, you're gonna see where it's brought you down here to the uh, to the Tulsa, it's gonna tell you you're gonna be there for 21 minutes, and then you can move on and it'll show your arrival at the next station as you're charging. It's not terribly difficult to change some of these charging stations to a, a different route. If you hit replace, and then you can just go in and move it to the next station, and it's, and it's doing it for, along the route or in your around your general area. So we're just gonna roll down here until we find the Tulsa Tesla station, which we find is right here. We're gonna click that, hit select stop, hit start, and it's as quick as that. Now it is navigating us to the Tesla supercharger in Tulsa and we're gonna be there for 33 minutes and it's showing you your first stop here. So if you your first stop is an hour and 27 minutes away, you're gonna get there with 49%. If you wanna know what you're gonna arrive at with your second stop, hit the little, the little bubble and that'll show you you're gonna be your route details. You have the Tesla supercharger at 1243, you're gonna get there with 50%, 33 minute charge and then you'll arrive at Oklahoma City with 31%. So let's look at a much longer trip. So let's just type in, say, Jacksonville, Florida. It's a 17 hour normal trip. It's gonna recalculate those distances after the charging stops are calculated. We'll give it just a second. And really it was that fast, no camera changes needed. It's a 23 hour trip, seven charging stops, four hours and 57 minutes of charging. So if you click on that, it's gonna look at your location and it's gonna show you the charging stops that it is showing to get all the way to Jacksonville, Florida. It shows you your how long you're going to be at each charge and the percent arrival at each charge. So that's how you plan a route in the Google Maps EV integration in Android Auto in your Ford Lightning or Mustang Mach-E. Hope that helps. Like and subscribe if you think this is a good video and we'll talk to you guys next time.